Hi folks, welcome. It's the 14th of March 2022. I'm just here preparing a bit of clay because I'm going to, uh, I've got some handles I need to pull. So I thought what I would do is just do that with you and um, yeah. So yeah, I'm just getting back into the pottery a bit. I haven't been out here every day. It's been bitterly cold. And I've been having some problems with my stove. It's been smoking like crazy. Literally smoking me out of here. <laughs> As you can see, some pots drying on the stove there. Um, on top of some concrete blocks. Never a bad idea. Put some concrete blocks. They absorb the heat and then they give it out later. Sort of like prolong the the heat. And I've got a couple of old shelves here, kiln shelves, on top. These are just some of these little, um, yeah, ones like this one here, which I didn't show you the other day. When I was, this is what they'll come out like. Something along those lines. This one's a bit covered in clay, as you can see, but yeah so yes so yeah get get everything thoroughly dry especially if you're raw firing like we are um let's just do a little kneading of this clay yeah yeah, my father used to say, I used to ask my father, how many, how, many, how many times should I should I knead the clay, father? And he would say, oh, about a hundred times. I used to think, a hundred times? Are you kidding? <laughs> but it, it soon passes, the time, you know. Dee, 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 dee. A lot of people want to know how to do this, but they... They, they're curious, they can't do it, or they give up. You've got to stick at it a bit, you know. Ten minutes every day, and you'll, you'll get it. By the end of the week, you'll... You'll be there, you know. So once we've... We then sort of... Get it into a... I sort of wind it up into a coil, not a coil, a cone, a cone. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to pull off a lump like that. Because for handle pulling you don't want to have too big a, a lump because it becomes heavy in your hand. Uh, for me, for me, this is about the right sort of size. Uh, let me weigh it because I know someone's going to say, Simon, how much does it weigh? Don't keep us in the dark. No, okay, so that is weighing a pound 11, one pound 11 ounces. So, yeah, you don't want it too, too heavy. Okay, so you're going to do that, put that back there. You know, it's like with everything else, you just get yourself organized. Get yourself organized, so, yes, organized. All right. Uh, let's get a little bit more light on the subject. Like that. So, okay, so I've got some water here. Get yourself a clean wear board, okay? Now, I've mentioned this many times. Make sure you have wear boards in your pottery. Don't be a potter that doesn't have wear boards. Or you're a half-baked potter, aren't you? Get yourself wear boards. Four feet by eight inches. And about, you know, a half inch thick. 
will do you well. They'll serve you well, you know. They may cost you, goodness knows what they cost these days. But you know, get the wood, go to Home Depot, wherever, and they'll cut it for you. And then make sure you sandpaper it, okay? So the edges are not all sharp. Alright, so there you go. So some warmish water. Bring that there. And it's actually a good idea to have a sponge. Because when you're doing handle pulling, you get quite a bit of um, drippage, you know, off your fingers and hands. So I quite often put a couple of sponges there like that. Are we in the picture? Are we in the picture? Oh, yes. We are in the picture. Okay, let me, let's see now. Uh, I got that light up there. I want to move it though, just a little closer. Light is all important, isn't it? We have enough light on the subject. Oh yeah, okay. So I'm going to move this to there. We've got a bit of sunlight coming in, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice, yes. Okay, so, handle pulling. Why do we bother to pull handles? Simon, why don't you just extrude them? It'll be a whole lot easier. Well, not really. Not really. So I take my, my slug of clay, okay, and I grip it like that, and then I smack the top of it like that. You've seen me do this before, I know. And that, you see, turns it into a railroad spike, okay? So this little bit on the top here gives you something to hold on to. All right, so I'm holding that. I'm gonna dip that in the water, dip my hand in the water and start pulling the clay down, okay? With a firm grip, but a continuous grip. And you must keep your hand wet and keep the, the slug of clay wet, okay? Pulling it down like this. Dee, 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 dee. This is when I first learned, you know, do pottery, uh, working under my father in England. Uh, yeah, this was not something that didn't, didn't want to come to me naturally, you know. <laughs> I thought, oh, well, this is like, this is like having to go back on the wheel again and start learning how to throw, you know. It's, it's very, you've got to get that, that, that grip and that touch and keep it wet and pull right off the end, okay? Make sure you pull right off the end. That's very important. So you see, you see the, the, the shape that is there. If this is the rabbit head, if you get what I mean, the, the head of the rabbit, and this is the eye of the rabbit, you see that's, gonna, that's your cross section of your handle. So as you squeeze around the clay and pull, you're going to uh, cause the clay, the, the cross section of this to be in that, in that form. Yeah. But you don't want to just have it in one position. You want to rotate your hand around into different positions. Another position I might have is like this, you see? gripping it like this. So not only like that, but also like that. You'll develop your own uh, hand positions. And sometimes it's like that, with the thumb here on the back side of the handle. So when you're pulling a handle, you're kind of, you sort of think of it as, oh, well, this will be the, the, the back side of the handle, or let's say the outside part of the handle, you know, and this this side here will be the inside curve of the handle. And if you think of it like that, okay, make sure you keep that pull right off the end, don't stop. Because if you stop, it, it, it you get a, a thick part here, and then you have problems. And it pulls off in your hand, maybe. Okay, so now you can see I've got... Can you see how much clay? Let's lay it down on the board here so you can see how much clay I've actually, I've actually pulled out there. 
you see you see that length of clay there that's quite a length of clay isn't it and uh, why don't we even measure it this one was short a while so that's 18 inches 18 and and six so what's that 18 and six is 24 so we, we've pulled down like two feet of clay whoa two feet of clay time that is like you know, my, 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 my arm is, you know, your, my arm is uh, way up here, you see, it's almost touching the ceiling. Two feet of clay, whoa, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, you might find that a little bit, but um, there's more than one handle here, you see. Okay, so I've got my handle pulled, now what I've got to do, and this is important, I want you to see this. So you're going to bring your wear board, your clean wear board, your clean wear board to the to the edge of the table, okay? All right, here you're going to bring it not just to the edge of the table. You're going to overlap it so that the 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 wear board is half an inch proud, sticking out from the table, and there's a there's a reason for that because right now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my handle across like that and with my thumb here the side of my thumb I'm going to chop it off <clears throat> you see like that now you can't chop it off if this is not overhanging the table you see if it's like that you can't chop it off because the, the table is in the way so that's why you do that Yep, so then we're going to, we're going to, you see I've pulled down two feet of, feet of clay and now once I've got that, that length of clay, I can now lay, pull off, Gonna move this down a bit so we're not making the wear board all wet and sloppy for the handles. Okay, hope we're in the picture. Yeah. Don't don't get discouraged by handle pulling. It, it is it's 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 quite a skill actually to learn to be able to pull handles. I mean I can pull handles to be honest. Uh, when I'm just me here doing it on my own and I haven't got to make a video of it, you know, because then it becomes sort of long and drawn out. But if I'm just here, me, I can I can pull handles pretty quickly, probably quicker than I could if I was extruding them. But the thing about an extruded handle is it's, equal, it's the same all the way down, whereas a pulled handle isn't. A pulled handle is very, very slightly tapering, you see. I'll bring the camera down here in a minute and give you a close-up. Okay, so, all right, pulling this down like this. You must make sure you keep the, 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 the handle wet enough. Okay. There you go, that we've got six handles there already. I think I've got to pull I think I've got to pull about 20. I've got about 20 mugs over there waiting for handles. Maybe even more than 20, I can't remember. So I'm going to, I'm going to bring the camera down and explain something to you that's also very important. Okay. show you how not to do it. <laughs> Ooh. I'm not sure Simon we want to see that. Because <laughs> this is a very typical way that a lot of beginners and people pull handles when they're not 
when they're not paying attention and they're so here's a handle okay I'm a beginner now so I've got my handle and I'm pulling it I'll put it just up here I'll put it here like that and then they don't cut it off properly this is one of the one of the things that the people do wrong they don't cut it off nice and <clears throat> they're sort of like Ooh, like that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just wipe my hands a minute. I get the camera and we're gonna pull the camera down here. And we're gonna have a quick look at this. Get the clay off my hands. Oh dear, this is the most clay plastered camera that you've ever seen. So, okay, so these handles are just pulled. Now, if you look here at the ending, you see how the side of my thumb uh, has 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 chopped them off like that you see I'm using the side of my thumb not the front of my thumb you see all right that's very important now here's one that I did that wasn't so good you see what I mean can you see the difference between these and that that's going to present you all kinds of problems when you come to attach that handle to the the side of a, a pot or a mug or a, a pitcher or something because you really want to have this here kind of at a 90 degree angle well you're not going to get it geometrically a 90 degree but we're going to get it as close as we can okay by using this method of the side of the thumb here uh, <clears throat> let's see for this this handle Ooh. which I can maybe I can put there like that and then using the side of my thumb <clears throat> you see I've I've cut it off okay that's 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 a good tip I'm giving you a good tip there. You may not, you may not know that. That might be something new to you. I don't know. But anyway, you, that's what you've got to practice. So you look at these handles. You'll see they're fairly consistent. And let's just try and look at the cross section of the handle. You see what I mean? They're they're slightly the thickest point of the handle is in the middle, isn't it? And they may have a slight ridge running down the the center but then tapering away uh, on each side to the side both sides well each handle is different because they're hand pulled they're not pulled out of a die on an extruder so they're all going to be just a little different but that's that's okay isn't it so long as they're not too different all right okay folks just uh, that's a little teaching for you on how to how to pull handles and a few little few de a few little details. Um, if you'd like to come on a workshop, we are I'm giving workshops in person here in this studio. Go to my website, you'll see the dates. Okay, check that out. I'm also taking orders on the old leech treadle wheel over there a new batch of them a new batch of five is going to be made they won't be ready though till july my carpenter is busy <laughs> one of the things he makes is chess boards he makes really professional quality chess boards sells them on a website chess.com so he's really busy doing that but he's he's a real high quality guy um yeah so come and join us on a workshop i just signed up with telegram don't know if anybody knows of telegram out there it's another kind of messaging app so if you want to communicate with me on telegram you may do so of course and uh, you'll you'll have to look for me there uh, okay folks that's it Hope that was uh, helpful to you. How to pull handles and a few, a few, a few tips there. 
and really you need to make a lot of mugs then you'll have a lot of handles that you've got to pull because the only way you're going to really learn how to to pull handles is you're going to have to have a lot of mugs and then pull a load of handles to for those mugs okay that's the that's the there's no secrets but that's that's just what you're going to have to do and um it's uh you know the the art of pulling handles making appendages and applying them to pots is a whole skill set you know but as potters, that's something we need to know how to do, isn't it? How to put a lug onto a casserole dish, for example. Um, how to put a handle. How to put a knob onto a lid. How to throw a knob on. You know, there's all kinds of, all kinds of uh, different types of knobs, aren't they? Here you are, look, I've got a picture out here, a little printout of, of knobs. Different kinds of knobs to go on lids. <laughs> For your interest yeah okay folks thanks for joining us and uh, yeah hopefully going forward the weather's going to warm up a bit we're going to feel a bit more inspired that's usually the case isn't it winter's a bit of a yeah keeping the inspiration flowing in the middle of winter is a that's an art in itself isn't it <laughs> anyway good to be with you folks as always, keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next video. Dee, 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 dee.